What's up, everybody? So, yeah. Same cop. Same cop is over there, guys. And he and we just had this is a 25 mile an hour road, and we just busted this cop doing like 50 down the road, and that just to catch up to this guy, who there's no fucking way he record he he was able to record a speed because we if you watched the last video I, I'm going to post the one right before this one, you'll see that we followed him on and he turned onto the street this street and we went up and around and come come back so he didn't have time to sit. Bugs are out tonight, guys. He's out generating that revenue, buddy. This is what I mean by this is not what we need. Chris Collins. So you think this is what we need? You think this is okay? You think it's okay for this guy to stop this man right here who's probably on his way home from fucking work after working a whole day sh a day shift and busting his ass all day at work to get a road pirate to come and take the money that he's worked for today? This ticket right here probably is going to cost him half his paycheck today. All because he was probably doing 10 mile an hour over the speed limit because most people think that this road is 35 mile an hour. I mean, they just do. It's, you know, there's a couple signs on the road that says 25, but there's usually cars parked in front of them, vans parked, trucks parked in front of them, trees in front of them. And I've said it for years on this road that I think that they deliberately have placed these the 25 mile an hour signs here on this road deliberately in spots that can't be seen because I will come down this road one day and show you guys the signs. They're literally right behind big ass trees, um, right behind where you're allowed, just where you're allowed to park. Why don't they put them in the areas next to the streets that's, you know, so far from the streets that you can't park. That way people can see the sign. You know what I'm saying? Because there'll be no cars in, in front of the sign. There's better ways to put them, places to put them. You know what I'm saying? So that's all this dude's doing is generating revenue. Well, here it goes. Here comes the ticket. But Uh-oh. So this guy might not have a license or something. Who knows? Uh, he didn't give him a ticket. I wonder why. Hmm. You know what I'm saying, guys? I wonder why. He gave the other person a ticket. We all know he's only... I mean, I know. I know you guys, you know, have to take me at my word when I say that this is a, a well-known speed trap. He'll, he'll come down. He'll turn. Mark my words. He'll make a right right here at this first street. And he'll go back up the hill like he did the last time that we was following him. Straight up and go right around the same way he was just at. And he'll park on one of the side streets and wait for somebody to drive by. Two ticket them. Like this guy right here. Look at this guy. Flying. That guy is flying. Surprised he didn't just nab him. But, but yeah. It's a well-known speed trap. Very well-known.
And, you know, it's a well-known speed trap, and they don't give breaks. So, the only thing I can think of is that he's seen me here. You know, sitting here filming. So, he gave dude a break. Or, who knows? Dude could be affiliated. Damn, I'm getting ate up with, by bugs. Yep, watch. Now watch. Mark my words. And what I tell you. Right back around he goes, guys. Like I said he would. He'll come back. He'll go back up the street that he was at. And he'll park at one of these little side roads down here. And he'll radar. I bet you. I can sit here. I'm going to. All right. I'm going to sit here, mark my words. I'll see you on the next um, pullover, guys. Later.